Hello Stampers, this is Gail from Rubber and Ink. This is the card that we'll be making. This is created using the lovely Lily Pad stamp set from our Celebration catalog right now. And the Lily Pad dies that match the little, lovely Lily Pad stamp set. Huh? So, I used our shimmery white cardstock, and our shimmery white cardstock has a bit of a glitter in it. I don't know if you can see it in the camera. Let's see if I... See that? I think you were able to see it. There you go. There it is. All right. So, with our shimmery panel, I embossed it with our tough, tufted embossing folder. Okay. Now, when I put this embossing folder in, you notice I didn't do the whole panel. You see, I left this piece blank. So, what I did was took the embossing folder and I only wanted it about halfway so I lined it up with a, I chose a row of um, dots there lined it up with the edge here and the row of dots there and then I put it through the embossing folder this way okay and so it comes out with just this part being embossed and this part leaving plain and I can easily stamp on it So now what I want to do, we want to take this piece, which is this die from the Lily Pad dies. Okay. Add some glue to the back. Put it right here, right over where that seam or bow seam is. Okay. Right where the embossing ends, I should say. <laughs> All right, so now let's just trim the back of this, make it flush. All right, now we can adhere this to our glossy meadow panel, which is five and a quarter by four. Okay. Let's see. okay, is that straight? That looks straight. Now let's take the full panel and adhere it to our card base. Hope I put that on right. I didn't even check it. Yep, there we go. Alright. Okay. Now, technically, I should have stamped my happy birthday before I glued all those panels together. So, let's just stamp this right here. Hopefully, it's going to come out straight. No errors. Very good. Let's close this ink up. Put the stamp out of the way. Okay. Now, I have our lotus or our lotus flower. And I used the Grapefruit Grove ink, and I stamped the flower onto Petal Pink cardstock, okay? Grapefruit Grove stamped onto Petal Pink. And then from there, I cut it out using the flower, Lotus Flower die, okay? And we come up with this. All right, so I set that aside. And I also have four little leaves. And these leaves, the little bitty die like this. You don't know how many times I've lost that die. Okay, so let's take these leaves and let's glue them. That's a lot of glue. Gonna take some. So 
glue them to the back of. Oh, did that backwards. Okay. I'm just going to put them in here right here like that. Put a few dimensionals on the back of here. I'll put some right there. There we go. I know I'm a little excessive with my dimensionals, but that's just the way I am. I like my piece to stay sitting up and not to sink in. That's what tends to happen if you don't have dimensionals all the way around. Okay. There we go. The flower is going to go right here. Okay. Now all I want to do is take some small pearls and I'll put them right here. here. Okay. Oops. Got a pearl trying to escape. Okay. And I'll stamp a lotus flower on the inside of the flower panel. A little bit of glue on the back. There you go. All right, there you go. Thank you so much for stopping by. Now go and stamp something.